How'd I do? You're still alive, Lieutenant. I'd say you did good. Creatures drain energy from nearby power sources. You could have mentioned that before we brought it on board. Nomad, the Admiral wants to see you down in CDC. That video feed you sent back comes in a bit of a stir. Better get down there. Man. You go on. I'll see you later. Cool. Come on. The Admiral's waiting. Glad you made it, Psycho. Where you been? I spoke to Prophet. I think he's really losing it. Whatever happened inside that sphere shook him up. It's all about going back to the island. Eleanor thinks she's figured out how these things communicate. Electrical signals or something. She reckons she could mimic their communications, fry their circuits. Sounds like a long shot if you ask me. Petty Officer McCulgan, needed in the armory. Petty Officer McCulgan. I do like this level. It's very, very detailed. Very cool. Alright, there's a hospital ship en route from Japan. It's gonna take time, so we have to make do. I wanna promise them an surprise now. Yes, sir. Dr. Rosenthal, report to CDC. Dr. Rosenthal, to the CDC. What are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna go find Prophet before he does something stupid. I'll catch you later. Strictly, if you can hear me, you've got to get everyone off this island. There's thousands of these things and they're waking up. It's an infestation. Admiral! No man. You did a fine job out there, son. Thanks to your video feed, the Joint Chiefs have recommended a nuclear assault. As soon as I get final confirmation from the White House, we'll reduce these bastards to dust. Admiral, we shouldn't rush into any decisions here. We need time to explore other alternatives. You want to second guess the President? The Joint Chiefs? I'm not sure you understand the gravity of the situation, Doctor. Just over a week ago, military intel sats detected abnormal heat signatures from that island. At first, we suspected the Koreans were testing nukes. CIA and NSA got word... It gets better. Four days ago, NASA picked up a high-frequency signal emanating from the center of the mountain. The beacon is directed at a star somewhere in Galaxy M33. It's almost four million light-years away. It could be a distress signal. A call for help. You said the samples you found were millions of years old. That's true. But this technology is so advanced, it can't be terrestrial. What if they were stranded here, and now they're calling for help? Whatever they are, wherever they're from, we need to act quickly. I have planes armed with nuclear missiles on standby. With respect, sir, there's no guarantee a missile will even breach their defensive perimeter. You want guarantees by a toaster. I'm not going to sit around and hypothesize while the safety of our planet is at stake. This is ridiculous. Those things have drained every power source they've come into contact with. The whole mountain is one giant power sink. Look at the schematic. This energy source runs through the entire structure of the mountain. Look at the shape of it. Compare it to the creature we brought on board. My guess is this thing's biological, a living entity that feeds on power. We can't predict what will happen if we use nuclear weapons against it. You care to predict what will happen if we don't? I think there's another way. I just need more time. There is no more time, Doctor. Sir, we just lost contact with the USS Lexington. I want all non-critical personnel out of here right now. I'll be in the armory. 
Come find me when you're through with this asshole. <laughs> that means you too, Lieutenant. Fine, Admiral Asshole. Didn't even give me cheap car insurance either. Get. I saw your CO heading down to the armory. He's probably waiting for you, sir. Okay. Dr. Ellis to the medical bay. Dr. Ellis to the medical bay. Shit. We're not equipped to deal with this. If you're looking for the armory, down the corridor, take a right. Okay. Is you guys were inside that sphere. Man, those nano suits are something else. You know, I'm thinking I'm trying to do this and slide past everyone until they stop talking to me. Nomad, you made it. How do you know I was here? Hey, Nomad. Mystic Prophet is Mystic. I've still got no idea how you rigged these weapons, boss. To put it mildly, speak up, Mumbles. Okay. Your suit should be fully operational with a few minor enhancements. I've diverted extra power to your hydro thrusters as requested. You're good to go, Major. Dr. Gillespie, I need to run some tests on Nomad's nano suit. I was told you'd be able to help. Certainly. Take a seat, Lieutenant. We're anxious to retrieve the environmental data from your suit's recording unit. Cool. Comfiest of seats. Hey, boss, where you going? I'm gonna finish this. I reckon nuking the entire island is about as final as it gets. What Admiral Morrison does is not my concern. This nuke won't even scratch the surface. Prophet, wait. So. What can I do for you, Doctor? I've identified a signal pattern used by these creatures when they recharge. I think it makes them susceptible to an energy overload. Is there any way to transmit one of their signals via the nanosuit? Shouldn't be a problem. Let me see what I can do. What if I need to alter the <laughs> frequency <laughs> remotely? Tickles. I got Fairly straightforward. You can send signals from any computer with a wireless connection. That should leave you room to experiment. What exactly are you guys doing to me? If my theory is correct, you'll be a walking weapon to fight these things. And if your theory's wrong? We better pray Morrison knows what he's doing. Dr. Rosenthal, report to the bridge. Dr. Rosenthal to the bridge immediately. You shouldn't keep the Admiral waiting, Doctor. I can finish up here. Okay. Nomad, meet me up at the bridge as soon as you're ready. Pretty girl. Not many of those in my field. If I were ten years younger, I'd... Ah, there she is. Put her on the rack over there. Yep. Ooh, shiny. Prototype tag cannon designed to be used in conjunction with the nano suit. We're still experimenting. It hasn't even been field tested. It fires a projectile tactical nuke. Works like a grenade launcher, but with a lot more bang for your buck. Whatever will they think of next? Can I try it out? <laughs> no. Well, I think we're done here, Lieutenant. I'll leave it to Dr. Rosenthal to fine-tune your transmitter. Thanks, Doc. No problem. You better get up to the bridge. The Admiral isn't known for his patience. Fine, let's go see Admiral Asshole. Maximum armor. Nomad! Hmm? If you see Helena, can you tell her... Uh, it doesn't matter. What, you're a queer? <laughs> uh. Go easy on that thing. It's volatile. Yeah. Men, this is Admiral Morrison. A few moments ago, I received authorization from the President to launch a limited nuclear strike against the hostiles on the island. Obviously, the decision to use nuclear force is a very serious one. We are still unsure of the exact nature of our opposition. But based on intel gathered by our special ops team, we believe our planet is facing an imminent and very real threat. Whatever happens in the next few minutes, I know that each one of you will perform your duty with honor and professionalism. Now I need you all to...
report to your battle stations. Major and Barnes, this is Admiral Morris. Morris. Put that veto down immediately. Major Barnes! What is he doing? Sir, should I scramble an intercept? <laughs> Let him go. Crazy bastard just signed his own death. Black man steals a veto. <laughs> About time, Lieutenant. We're almost ready to launch. That major of yours just went AWOL. Raided the armory, took a VTOL, and headed back to the island. Prophet's going back there? You have to delay the launch. He made his choice, Lieutenant. Admiral, I'm begging you to reconsider. It's too much of a risk. What if this is exactly what they want? What if we're playing into their hands? I don't have time for what ifs, Doctor. The Pentagon has authorized the use of nuclear force. I have my orders. Constitution Command, this is Marauder 1. We've got Locke approaching critical range. Stand by. We're ready, sir. What if you're wrong, Admiral? Can you live with the consequences? Dun dun dun! Proceed with the launch. Fire see me, sons! Marauder 1, this is Constitution Command. That's a green light, deliver the payload. Over. I hope you're right about this. You, me, and the rest of the planet. Oh, it glows like the sun. <laughs> That's pretty. Charge and some of this run like fuck. Because it's like a splash damage energy thing they do. And it hurts like hell. So much so it'll actually inch to give you.
The ass kicking, we just give There's a breach in the hull. I'm heading down to the reactor room. We're gonna make a break for the flight deck. Give us a shout when you're topside. Now, man, I've been working on the remote transceiver. I think we can manipulate the recharge mechanism via your nano suit. If you get in trouble, let me know. I'm always in trouble. You know, if you're watching this and you've not played the original, but you've played Crisis 2. First off, one, shame on you. Second of all, well, you're going to understand why everyone was so horribly pissed at the final level of Crisis 2. Hello. Is this not the pool you're looking for? Shit! I thought you were one of those creatures. You know, man? Damn! Made it! Turned dead! You heard I was dead! Hey! Up here! Hey, Nomad! Been waiting for you! There's a radiation leak in the core! We can't hold these things off much longer! The reactor's gonna melt down unless we can shut it off! You'll need to swing around to the other side! Tell me what I need to do. First, you need to disable the circuit breakers in the exchange room. That allows you to restart the reactor safely. Come on, let me go. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it. Wow, well, that look. That should do it. Great. Broad arms are now open. Head over to the reactor room and initiate the scram sequence. Why, hello, Gordon Freeman. Funny meeting you in here. Okay, I'm in the reactor room. What next? Hit the red button. Core, cool, look at my engineering degree. Pushing red button. Scrap sequence initiated. <laughs> Good work, Nomad. Your control rod should bottom. Styles everywhere. I think they're draining power from the reactor. No, I think we can overload them with power from the core. Stay within range. I'm transmitting a signal through your suit. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's working. Don't sound so surprised. 
Come on. Yes, sir. Where is me? Okay, the reactor shut down. Transferring power to secondary system. Great job. Awesome. Nice job pushing those rods down, boy. But I need you up on deck. We got another wave of hostiles inbound. Get up here. No man, the guys on the flight deck sound like they're taking a beating. You better get up there. It's been an honor to work with you. Yep. Thankfully, the little bastards don't explode here. If they did, it'd be quite painful because everything's all tight and narrow. Spidery thingies. There we go. I'm dead. More scar because we like scar. We love scar. More grenades are also fun. Thankfully, they still take the same path. Big and very pissed off. Oh, 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 oh.
interesting. Marines in here normally take care of them. Coward. <laughs> I've got the tech cannon. Shit works, eh? Now then, this way I think. Oops, that's the wall, that's the door. Admiral, there's a VTOL waiting on the flight deck. We have to go now. I am not. Get the door open. Get over it. Ooh! Do you want some Rene for that Harburn? didn't make it. Where are you? I'm with Helena in the veto. The carrier's overrun. Everyone's either dead or jump ship. Hold on, we're coming in to pick you up. Make sure you grab that scar on the floor for your rifle. Right, now then. This is the final fight. Okay, this is a bit more than just four cloaked guys that run around. Um, I'm going to go probably go a bit quiet here because I'm going to focus on doing this. I ain't going to fucking die here and lose it all. So, um, yes, onwards. Crisis 2 to this. Oh, that's gonna fucking hurt. This is just absolutely epic. Open wide and say, ah. Kill this thing quite quickly. What are you doing? Oh god, that's, that's not good. Take 
this thing down! Not without my help. Are you crazy? Just go! again.
There's a naval fleet en route from Japan. They'll be here within the hour. I'm setting coast to intercept. No. We know how to beat them now. We need to keep fighting. I'm picking up a transmission. What is it? You ain't gonna believe this, mate. It's Profit. He's alive? I ain't kicking by the sound of it. Looks like he's inside the sphere. Lock onto his position. Going back. 